Jalen, how do you feel about the opportunity here uh, in New Orleans, considering a uh, household name, your season vet, uh, for the opportunity here? Um, it's, it's been a blast, um, you know, being here in New Orleans. Even getting off the plane, I, I felt the culture right away. Um, you know, you hear so many great things about the boot, um, you know, the culture, the food, the fans. Um, you know, in, in my experience, you know, playing against the Saints from afar, you know, I've, I've felt it and always had an appreciation for it. So you know, I'm just thankful that the team is welcoming me, um, you know, understanding, you know, the value of what I bring to the table. Um, but the only thing that matters is what you do now. So I'm excited to be here and, uh, you know, compete to, to make this team better. What do you think you bring to this? They were looking to see who that off-ball linebacker was going to be behind DeMar Davis. I know there's a lot of time before the season starts, but do you feel like it's a role you might be able to help fill? Yeah, I mean, for me, I'm a team guy. I'm a guy who's had some success in this league, and, you know, I can still play the game at a high level. Um, and, you know, whatever coach asks of me, that's that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just happy to be here. Uh, me and DeMario, we have great respect for, for one another. Um, even Petey being, a, 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 you know, from the Hoosier State, just like me. He's from Carmel. I'm from Fort Wayne. So there's a... Um, a, a mutual respect. So just, just thankful to be here with these guys for sure. What do you feel like you kind of bring to this team? Not just on the field, but even in the locker room. Um, you know, outside of experience and production, just um, you know, being in that leadership role. You know, I was a captain uh, two years and in, in the National Football League, and um, just know, uh, knowing what it takes, understanding preparation, um, and then just a guy who had who's had experience going into year eight. Um, you know, I've been through a lot. Um, but like I said, this is a team game, and you know I'm just happy to be a part of a, a group and a bond. Um, and each day, you know, we get a chance to earn each other's respect. So I'm just thankful to be here. Jalen, as far as the calls and everything, where are you at, like mentally, and how long do you think that'll take? As far as you're gonna feel where you could play fast, and you're not where it is second nature. Uh, what is that process with you right now? It's just time and experience. I've played in multiple systems before. I've played in this type of system before. Um, so a lot of things are similar. Uh, it's just more of, you know, the terminology and the verbiage and things like that. So it won't take long. As far as, uh, you know, social media, people are happy you're here now, but like the game against Alvin, does people like reference that at all? Has anybody even said anything? I remember when y'all played them years ago. Yeah, I mean, um, it's it, it it was a definitely a high, highly stouted game. Uh, it was a Thursday night football game, and um, you know it's just two guys competing against each other. Two guys playing at a high level, and um, you know he made some plays, and I made some plays. So you know definitely um, you know it was a, just a blessing to be out there for sure. Yeah, what have kind of you learned over the last two years, just kind of bouncing around to the NFL, obviously Green Bay, New York, you know, what, and now here. You know, what has that kind of taught you? Um, I think just being in, um, you know, different prestigious places, just understanding how people operate, um, and, 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 and with experience comes, comes wisdom. Um, and that's really what I'm thankful for. You know, all the coaches I've had, all the, the older players that I've gotten a chance to play with, um, and myself being a vet now, being able to not only contribute, but to give back. So I'm just thankful to be here. And like I said, uh, you know, whatever coach asks for me, that's that's what I'm going to do, um, and I'm going to be ready for sure. What are your early impressions of Mike Hodges, linebacker coach? Huge tenacity, uh, a guy who loves the game of football, uh, and he coaches it the right way. Uh, so much respect for him. Um, even getting in, you know, meeting with him early, you know, to to get caught up with the playbook and things like that. Um, just thankful and love the way that he that he coaches and, and brings the guys together. Can you give me an idea of one of the things that he does? Is um, I would say just attention to detail. You know, he doesn't own, he doesn't talk about uh, something he he can actually show you and pinpoint it. Um, whether it's cut ups, you know, explaining how he wants us to, you know, to, you know, perform a technique, and then you know, from a standpoint of, you know, if we if we desire to get out on the field and um, you know do some walkthroughs, go through some cans and things like that. Um, you know, just the more the merrier. And, and, and all of us, we have a, a eager to win, uh, and it's a sense of urgency here, for sure, being here in New Orleans. If I can recall correctly, I think you played for several offensive head coaches. Is there any kind of difference coming into a scheme or a team with a defensive head coach? 
I, I believe this is my first time, yeah. uh, you know, playing with a, a more defensive minded coach. I actually love it. It's a little different for me, um, but 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 I love it and I see it. I see, you know, DA out here calling, you know, calling the plays and things like that. And it's a, just a mutual respect, um, you know, but coming from different systems where I've played with offensive minded coaches, it's just something that's unique. Um, but we're all here trying to grow and, you know, we want to win. Even now, so many years later, people always bring up the injury in college. Do you feel like that's something that you want to kind of put in the past, or you, you not really hear when people talk about like that? I mean, it just adds to my story. Um, you know, being a projected top three pick, top five pick prior to my injury. Um, you know, to be able to, you know, go into year eight, and I haven't missed a game since. Um, you know, since my rookie year, which I had to red shirt because of because of my college injury. Um, you know, it's just kind of been a staple. And, and for me, just having that clear eye view, that focus vision, determined belief, earned dreams. I'm a I'm a guy that's an example. Um, and I'm going to continue uh, to to contribute out on that field, you know, at a high level. Um, you know, for me, having the opportunity to uh, beat the odds, it, it, it just speaks to, um, you know, my perseverance, but also you know, having a, a, a belief system, you know, understanding that there's others who believe in me as well. And then just have an opportunity to play the game that I love. It's, you know, it's amazing. It's a lot of doctors that said I, I wouldn't be able to play the game again. Um, but, and, and then, you know, on the college side of people's having the opportunity to, um, you know, skip bowl games now, you know, that wouldn't happen, you know, prior to my injury. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm just being an example and I'm just thankful to be able to play the game I love still. You talked to Brian Kelly since coming here? I haven't. I haven't. I talked to Jake, uh, the strength coach. He's he came over to LSU with Coach Brian Kelly, and um, just excited to see them down down here as well. Uh, you know, balling, trying to make some noise for sure. Right. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you. Yes, sir. Welcome in.